Good morning. Welcome to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School, class of 2021 high school graduation. At this time, will the guests please stand for the presentation of colors, the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem, and please remain standing until the colors have been posted. Post the colors. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Post the colors. dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave through through the night. That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Or the You may be seated.
I hope y'all can hear me well, because I got this mask on, but. <laughs> All right. Good morning, family, friends, and those who are watching virtually. Welcome to the class of 2021 commencement ceremony for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School. I am Ariel McDowell, and I'm honored to present myself to you as our class's salutatorian. All right. I want to acknowledge our DeKalb County School District Superintendent, Mrs. Cheryl Watson Harris, Region 5 Board Member, Mrs. Vicki B. Turner, Region 5 Area Superintendent, Dr. Trisilla Weaver, King High School Administration, Interim Principal Williams, Assistant Principals, Mrs. Blakely, Mr. Butler, Dr. Denham Shabazz, Mr. Thompson, Mrs. Watson, and the Counseling Department. I also want to specifically acknowledge my exuberant counselor, Ms. Hurd. I also want to acknowledge the entire King faculty and staff who worked tirelessly to listen and provide us with the support we need with special thanks to Ms. Barlow for her attentiveness through this process. I would also like to recognize our former principal, Mr. Harvey, who consistently reminded us that graduation is for graduates. To our village, we cannot do it without any of you. You helped us to become the amazing people we are today, and speaking on behalf of all of us, we will not let you down. Most importantly, I want to thank God. Without him, I am nothing. It is by his stripes I am healed. Next, of course, I want to thank my mom. Although she may not know it, she is my rock and my motivation to be great. Without her strong words of encouragement, I don't know where I'd be. Along with her, I must acknowledge my family, especially my big-headed brothers, for the support they have offered me. I could not continue this speech without thanking my church family from Bride Temple Church of God. Bishop and First Lady Anderson offered my family and I a significant amount of help without seeking anything in return. I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize my amazing friends. I love you guys, and I'm so grateful to have people like you on my team. All right, last but definitely not least, I want to acknowledge my guardian angel, my father. Losing him at nine years old was not and still isn't easy, but it has always been one of the most important driving forces for the woman I'm becoming. I'm positive that he is in heaven, beaming down a huge smile, saying that he is very proud of me. While I know there are several misconceptions about King, I feel as if addressing them would be rather minuscule because our last four years here were spent making progress as young creative individuals, backed by a staff who pushed us to perform at our maximum capacity daily. Now that that's off my chest, I can say what I really have to say. Upon entering high school, becoming the valedictorian or salutatorian was the goal, even though I was scared that I had to deliver a speech of this magnitude. Under the social pressures of ninth grade, I briefly, very briefly, lost sight of this goal. Many times in ninth grade, I found myself saying, no, I'm not doing that assignment, especially to those of Ms. Henson, because I was not down to read all of those pages. <laughs> Throughout that year, this was my exact thought process in every class. While I still said things like, I'll take my zero in 10th grade, when Mr. Borright said we had to do Socratic, 11th grade, when Mr. Humphrey gave more assignments than elements on the periodic table, and 12th grade, when Mr. Cooper assigned that Song of Solomon essay to us. However, these intrusive thoughts were short-lived as I did the work. I became fixated on my goal. As time progressed, I began craving more for myself. I wanted to not only be great in academics, but successful overall and prepared to tackle anything that came my way. As strenuous as it may sound, my grades became my source of happiness. There have been many nights where myself and my IB classmates felt as though we had a lot more goals to accomplish than others. However, this only made us stronger as a cohort. Oftentimes when my IB classes asked, what advice would you give the upcoming IB classes? We all scream and shout, don't join. <laughs> Although we say this, what we truly mean is, 
Don't join unless you are willing to put in the work to be the best. Don't join unless you have ambition, and don't join unless you are prepared to work towards your future. The only way to be successful in the IV program is to have the desire to acquire more. Everything is not always gonna go how you want it to, which is something I'm pretty sure we all know by now. Me, as someone who likes control over all of the variables, didn't like this at all. However, after reading a poster, which I think was in Ms. White's room, I knew what I had to do. The poster reads, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. While I do not know who this is by, Google says it's either Lou Holtz or Charles R. Swindle. So shout out to them for this amazing quote. That small piece of information could go for anything in preparation for a large days in your lives. Approach situations like these with a mind which seeks solutions. In conclusion, it is with great honor that I salute my class. Not only are we all graduating, but we are doing so during a whole pandemic, or as some may joke, while surviving Miss Rona. Online school definitely isn't easy, as we've had to fight the urge to sleep while the teacher is talking for 90 minutes long. The things we do for a diploma is astonishing at times. We had the opportunity to make so many excuses, which we did sometimes, but we rolled with the punches. This simple fact pretty much makes us the best class, contrary to the belief of those before us and those who will follow us. Something about being born after 2003 just doesn't sit right with me. However, I digress. We did it, you all. We can say that we did have some fun times together while doing so, whether it be every day in the lunchroom or at our prep rallies. Congratulations, class of 2021. I wish you all the best in your future journeys and look forward to seeing the great things you accomplish. Always remember what we've been taught at King. I am intelligent. I am articulate. I am mature. I am knowledgeable. I am involved. I am nonviolent. I am goal oriented. I am King. With that, I want to say thank you all once again and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Second Chronicles 15, 7. And so we did. We stayed strong and did not give up, and here we are receiving one of the many rewards life has in store for us. Good morning. My name is Mariana Vega Alvarez, and I am extremely honored to be representing the class of 2021 as the first Hispanic valedictorian at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School. On behalf of myself and the class of 2021, it is my privilege to extend a heartfelt welcome to the family members, friends, faculty, and staff of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School. I would like to acknowledge the district superintendent, Ms. Cheryl Watson Harris, board member, Ms. Vicki B. Turner, and Region 5 superintendent, Dr. Tricilla Weaver. In addition to our kind administration, our intern principal, Mr. Williams, Ms. Blakely, Mr. Butler, Dr. Denham Shabazz, Mr. Thompson, Ms. Watson, and our counseling department. I would like to give special recognition to Ms. Hibber, Ms. Hibber, Dr. Hibbert and Ms. Hurd. Let me start by expressing a thought. I'm pretty mad that I have to wear this mask because look, this took a good three hours. And you will all only be lucky enough to see it for as long as I'm up here giving you my speech. So take a good look at it while you still can. Some say, as individuals, we have the ability to shape and influence the events in our lives. But more often than not, the events in our lives shape us. 
These events are much like the unexpected, rapid currents of a deep, untamable river. You may look at me and assume that because I've been able to maintain straight A's, I have my life all figured out. But that would, in fact, be a false assumption. Behind all the glitz and glams, there has been more than enough destruction, self-doubt, and stress concerning grades, finishing school, and my future career. School has been about the only thing I gave immense effort and work towards. I've balanced school with social occasion and extracurriculars, but it has all worked out in the end. My education is one of the many things I am tremendously proud of. Thank you to the one who has made it possible for me to make it to this day. The one who hugged my soul and heart when it appeared to have been left in shambles. The one who built a foundation out of the most tragic and traumatic moments. Never in a million years did I ever imagine that I'd hold on long enough to be able to walk across the stage, let alone graduate with such a distinct title. With my entire heart, mind, and soul, I want to say thank you, my Lord, for giving me the strength and faith to be standing at where I am now. I would like to thank my sister and my parents. While metaphorically they say that parents move mountains and cross rivers for their children, my parents have literally moved countries and crossed deserts and rivers to give my sister and I a better life. I can only imagine the pain and struggles my parents have gone through and still face to this day because of the fact that they were born in a different country with different expectations and realities. The fact is that those sacrifices and effort resulted in giving us a better life. I recognize it has not been easy coming into a country whose language and culture is completely different from ours, but you have always made sure my sister and I had everything we needed. You've placed all your hope into this one chance at the American dream. With the unknown, unforeseeable outcome. And so I owe it all to you. It is with great pride and honor that I stand before my family as I receive this honorable title. Sarah, Gigi, and Melanie, this one's for you. I hope you follow behind my steps toward success and become someone a thousand times better than me for our parents and for yourself. I love you. Quisiera darle las gracias a mi hermana y a mis papás. Mientras metafóricamente dicen que los padres moverían montañas y cruzarían ríos por sus hijos, mis papás literalmente se han movido de países y han cruzado ríos y desiertos para darnos a mi hermana y a mí una vida mejor de la que ellos pudieron tener. No me puedo imaginar el dolor y los sufrimientos por los que mis papás han pasado y aún pasan por haber nacido en un país con diferentes expectativas y realidades. La verdad es que esos sacrificios y esos esfuerzos resultaron en darnos la mejor vida. Reconozco que no ha sido fácil venir a un país en el cual su lenguaje y cultura es completamente diferente a la de nosotros. Pero ustedes siempre se han asegurado que mi hermana y yo tengamos todo lo que necesitamos y más. Han puesto toda su fe en esta única oportunidad para el sueño americano sin saber lo que vendría de él o en dónde los llevaría. Se lo debo todo a ustedes y es con un inmenso honor y orgullo que estoy al frente de ustedes recibiendo este honoroso título. Sara, Gigi y Melanie, esta va por ti. Espero que sigas mis mejores pasos hacia el éxito y que seas mil veces mejor que yo para nuestros padres y por ustedes mismas. Los quiero mucho. To my cousins, Sandra and Brenda, who have helped and encouraged me to persevere, I love you. Thank you for teaching me all the things I needed to know to become the woman I am today and continue to be. To my IV classmates, Within four years of having almost every class together, they have become as close as family to me. To quote from a poet we spent a good month studying on, Robert Frost, two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. 
Out of about 300 students, 17 of us decided to take the road less traveled, the International Baccalaureate Program. Today, as I stand up here on this stage, I can't help but to think about all the decisions we've made and the struggles we faced that have helped us pave this road <laughs> towards success and greater opportunities. Thank you for being that ray of sunshine in the classrooms that had no windows and poor lighting. Look at us. We finally made it. Though there was no sunlight in any of our classrooms, we survived and better yet, bloomed as young adults while thriving as intellectuals. Out of the 126 essays and speeches IB requires over the course of the strenuous program, this speech is by far my best intriguing assignment. It has probably been the only one that didn't make me cry out of frustration and exhaustion. Exhaustion, sorry. Except maybe now as I'm reading it to you. However, these are happy tears. Class of 2021, while we were not able to experience traditional social events like prom, senior picnic, or senior ball, we are able to graduate in a somewhat conventional manner. We are here sitting together in a stadium with our closest family and friends, and we will all walk across this stage. Let me thank you, class of 2021, for your resilience. Teachers, thank you for your words of wisdom, insight, and optimism. On behalf of the seniors, I would like to apologize for not always taking in those words of wisdom, disregarding your many years of insight, and for being pessimistic during the times of optimism. Although we may not understand the magnitude of your words today, I know that we will gain understanding from your affirmations as we move along in life. I would like to give special recognition to Ms. Barlow and Ms. Thornton for their attentiveness through the process of this. Thank you, Ms. Hurd, for allowing me to vent and cry about the 89 I once had in an IB course, among other more reasonable breakdowns. You have encouraged me to get back up every time I stumble upon this rigorous path. You have been more than just my counselor, you have been my friend. Everyone here has someone they look up to, whether it's a superhero, your parents, a friend, or a celebrity. Although a little unorthodox, the person I look up to the most is me. Not the person I have been or am right now, but the person I want to and will become. Class of 2021, continue to strive to be the best you can be as you march along life's path to the next stage. Through the ups and downs that are bound to occur in the coming decades, you can control your own fate. Only you, your mind, your truths, and your beliefs can guide you properly through the maze of adulthood. Here's to starting our own road in this mysterious yet cardinal juncture of maturity. Good morning again. I must pause for a moment to recognize the efforts of our first responders who are over on my right, working feverishly with someone who need our prayers and our support. If you would just pause just for maybe 30 seconds, 10, 15 seconds, just a moment of silence as we recognize their efforts and we invoke the prayers of the righteous for that individual. Thank you. To Ms. Mrs. Vicki B. Turner, Chair of the DeKalb County Board of Education, Dr. Tricilla Weaver, Regional Superintendent for Region 5, of the DeKalb County Board of Education. I am humbled at the opportunity to share this momentous occasion with this awesome class of 2021. <laughs> Along with a host of faculty and staff, 
And having said that, I'd like to ask my senior teachers and advisors if you would please stand and let us recognize you. Awesome job, awesome. Other faculty and staff at Martin Luther King, would you all please stand? All of our faculty and staff. Our verified administrative team, I'm so thankful you all made my job so easy stepping in for Dr. Enos Harvey in this short period of time. You may be seated. We all join in saluting and acknowledging your numerous accomplishments while at Martin Luther King Jr. High School. Since March of 2020, you have faced the adversity of COVID-19, the adversity of a very dementing pandemic that challenged and threatened your aspirations and your dreams. But despite it all, you persevered with strength and resilience and allowed you to stay focused on the prize. So this morning, I challenge you with the words of that old song that says, ain't no stopping us now. We moving on. And I say to this class right now, move on. Move on. Move on with courage. Move on with an attitude of expectancy that exemplifies the king's way. Y'all have heard the king's way over and over again. Be prompt, be prepared, be polite, be productive. So I wanna transition and introduce you to the, the world, to this audience of people, and to all of these witnesses. And I wanna say that your portfolio and your academic summary is outstanding. Please allow me to share portions of this summary. You are 281 strong sitting here this morning, having gotten up early, drove all the way from 3991 Snap Finger Road in Lithonia, Georgia. And here you are sitting with 42 of you with 4.0 averages or higher. Here you are sitting with 103 of you eligible for the HOPE Scholarship. Here you are sitting with 80% of you attending, already signed on to attend a two-year or four-year college or university. Here you are sitting with 10% of you already signed up to go into a branch of the armed services. Here you are sitting with the total scholarship dollars awarded to this class being $3,755,439. Here you are sitting. You're sitting strong, you're sitting proud, and I'm just glad to be in the number one more time. Individually, I'd like to celebrate several of you. Angelica Fields Matthews has been awarded the Posey Scholar and will receive a total of $329,050 in scholarship over four years at the College of Worcester. Shakira Todman is a recipient of the $30,000 Bright Star Education Foundation Nursing Scholarship. 
Jada Lewis received the Atlanta Journal Cup Constitution Scholarship, or award rather, and this award is given to the best all-around senior by a consensus of the faculty and the administration. It's based on several areas, based on academic achievement, based on leadership, community service, and extracurricular involvement. And so we are here, and I am pleased at this moment to certify. And while, before I certify you, I'm going to ask our board chair, Ms. Vicki Turner, Vicki B. Turner, to come because I want to present you to her. Thank you, Ms. Turner. Ms. Turner, I certify that the class of 2021 at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School have completed the requirements for graduation as established by Advanced Ed, State, of, State Board of Education, the Georgia Accreditation Commission, and the DeKalb County Board of Education. Therefore, I present to you the class of 2021, and I declare that they are eligible to receive their diploma. Praise him, praise him. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, good morning. Good morning again. Thank you, thank you. You know, I can't help but be a little bit distracted uh, by what the enemy has tried to do on a special day. So I want you to point your hands towards the person that's in the, in the truck there. And we're believing by the power and the authority of God Almighty in Jesus' name for a successful outcome of that thing. We're going to praise the Lord in advance. Amen. 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 I believe I got a few believers in the house. All right. Hallelujah. All right, I want to read something. Um, your, your interim principal, and he, he did such a wonderful job celebrating you this morning, but he, he inspired me to read this. I want you to listen. He that have an ear, let him hear. It says, I'm closing chapters. I'm turning pages. Glory to glory, from faith to faith. I'm moving on, I'm moving on. I'm getting older, so I'm going to keep it straight. It hurts to let go, but it hurts more to stay. I'm moving on, I'm moving on. I know, listen to this graduates, my rear view mirror can't compare to what God will do with my life and I am forgetting what's behind me. I have finally decided I'll be moving on. My mother taught me, she taught me well, forget your failures, forgive yourself, I'm moving on. Now I read that, it's a song, it's a beautiful song and I hope you'll get it and uh, listen to it. It's by Jonathan McReynolds, I'm moving on. And the, your principal said, we're moving on. Now, this year is 2021, and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a numbers woman. And so we're on May, what is it? May 25th, 2021. Add all those numbers up, graduate. It comes to eight. Eight means new beginnings. Eight means jubilee. Eight means cancellation of debt. I'm moving on. I want you to say that behind me. I'm moving on. 
I love it, I love it. Now listen, we have been in the midst of a pandemic, but if you cannot celebrate that there is a God, then something's wrong with you. Because it's only by the grace of God, the grace of God, the grace of God that you sit here today in the midst of a pandemic, he said he wanted to celebrate you. And so if you look at 2021, add up just those numbers, they come to five. Five is the number of grace. And I want to remind you this morning that his grace is sufficient. His grace will carry you through. But for the grace of God, we stand here today and I celebrate you. But most importantly, I celebrate a faithful covenant keeping God who allowed us to come here today. And there may be some that are absent, some that didn't make it. But the word of the Lord to you is move on, move on, forgetting those things which are behind you and press towards the mark. I expect great things to come out of this class. I expect you to play the hand that you've been dealt. I expect you to do great and mighty things that will bring glory and honor to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, your, your valedictorian got up here, little sweet little woman of God, and she reminded you the word of God. Don't you dare miss your hour of visitation. Don't you dare miss it because it's the word that will carry us through from glory to glory, from strength to strength, and from truth to truth. I wish I had a little help from parents. I wish I had a little help from parents in the house, but maybe, maybe they celebrate on Sunday morning and not on a Tuesday morning. Praise him. On the basis of the certification that your principal has given to me, I accept the recommendation. The, at the academic advancement of this class meets the course requirements as established by Advanced Ed, the Georgia Board of Education, the Georgia Accrediting Commission, and the DeKalb County Board of Education. As a member, of the DeKalb County Board of Education, I, Vicki B. Turner, authorize the release and the presentation of diplomas and certifications to the class of grace, the class of grace, the class of grace 2021 at the Martin Luther King Jr. High School. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I need to drop a word in. We have parents and grandparents that we did not recognize. I would like for all the parents of the grad graduates to please stand at this time. Let us recognize you. As well as the grandparents. Don't leave them out. All right, now, you, you may not want to cheer and shout on this. But we do need to hear the graduates' names. I would ask your indulgence. I would ask your indulgence so that we may hear every name that's called. Parents have the right, you have the right, to hear your child's name, OK? We'll celebrate at the end, all right?
Mariana Vega Alvarez. Ariel McDowell. Sierra Baker. Sydney Baker. Jay Lynn Scott. Kariana Allen. Victoria Uller. Victoria Nazde. Favor Avabayo. Janaya Sabir. Jada Lewis. Osana Christopher. Ralder Victors. Joaquim Lawton, Isaiah Tyra, Kalika Jones, Tammy Lopez, Alexia Phillips. Maya Felder, Sean Ryan, Asanta Mika Logan, Eric Freeman Jr., Kylie Cody, Jerome Barnwell. Jared Jackson, Tobias Cobus, Star Rosier Greer, Tasia Jackson, Ariel Lee, Noel Stewart. Jemiah Richardson, Jaden Austin, Kaiman Banks, Malachi Bentick, Justin Bratton, DeCorey Brown. Joy Elizabeth Clark, Tori Blue Clark, Kiaria Colonel, Ashanti Craig, Jaquentin Crony, Ramaj Daniels. Amari Davis, Abdul Delaney, Jaquan Dixon, Jakaya Edmonds, Tiana Edwards, Priya Epps, Precious Fant. Tanaya Fletcher, Joshua Frazier, Naya Gibson, Troy Jones, 
Kaylin Hearn, Alasia Henderson, Aviana Henderson, Tamari Heron, Leslie Holloway, Kanaya Howard, Anaya Hughes, Jaylee Hotley, Honor Israel, Ira Braxton Johnson, Shamika Reese. Trayvon Reed, Naya Reynolds, Naima Rhodes, McKenna, McKenna to Tobin, Tobin, Shakira Todman. Talina Powell, Norman Powell, Chinese Pound, Renique Patterson, Anthony Paget. Daniel Monette, Jr. Christian Minor. Jaden Mathis. Jaquel Martin McBride. Simone Lorenzo. Devin Koontz, Zamaya Knight, Jada Robinson, Roddy, Roddy, Micaiah, Michaela Roddy, Cheyenne Samuels. And Travius Slater, Keon Stallings, Corinne Sterling, Micaiah Tarver, Michaela Taylor, Sierra Terry. Shaderica Thompson, Casey Young, Tamia Dutton. Tamaya Dorsey, Latricia Dent, Kaya Wright, Tayana Williams, Marquan Williams, Jonathan Williams. Daria Wilkerson, Tamira Whitaker, Kenya Wells, Kayla Washington, Shania Walker, Anissa Turner. 
This is the school of ISGL. Diane Armstrong. Amadou Berry. Zaharia Beatty. Jaina Berry. Osiris Billings. Nasir Bruce. Jolisa Bryant. Deshaun Burton. Dewan Clark. Kayla Clark. Claude Collins. Diamond King. Sanaya Adams. Zen Benton. Kamari Berry. Shadler Samelis. Okay, baby. Brooke Chu. Nyla Charles Anderson. Felicia Cheney. Trayvoy Van. Janae Thomas. Dante Thomas, Diavion Taylor, Alicia, Alia, Alia Shields, Christian Shepherd, Nakaya Jones, Ariana Hart, Zacharias Hall. Faison Gordon. Alanis, right? Alanis Blakely. Angelo Bowens. Michael Bowens. Jesse Briggs. Malaya Brooks. From the School of Technology, Pavilon Brown, Antonio Butler, Tiffany Bird, Elijah Dawson, Jayla Diggins, Tyreek Dix, Aisha Ducare. Deshaun Dumas, Amber Harper, Aaron Hampton, Martuez Greer, Jr., Sean Davis Graham, Matthew Davis, Jaden Daly, Seth Cumberbatch, Sasha Cromwell, Muhammad Corley, Michaela Cooper, Ashanti Collins, Deja Kofer, Danielle Kofer, Caleb Clark, Jeremy Eason, Kyla Elliot Edwards, Renaya Eubanks, Cameron Fern, Akeem Fears Jr., DeAsia Felton, Adon Flukers Jr., Destiny James, 
Tyree James, Arion Johnson, Quindell Johnson, Vershawn Johnson, D'Angelo Jones, Jamia Jones, Kiana King, Jaden Long, John Quavius Livingston, Radion Lipscomb, Andre Jackson, Sanaya Jackson, Rodriguez Hunter, LaDonna Holt, Malachi Holmes, Trenton Hill, Marco Hill, Loriana Herrera, Joshua Harris, Janaya Harris, Shania Harris, Karis Langford, Jakaya Lee, Angel Lewis, Mark Pinnock, Jordan Pittman, Lasagna Ria, Daryl Rich the second, Jatea Riley, Marquise Rivers, India Roberts, Jomel Robinson. Tamario Robinson, Sanaya Rush, Damari Sardin, Rakaya Munford, Kayla Stovall, Amani Martin. Jalen Stark, Janaya Spence, Marquisha Smith, DeHaven Smith, Darian Smith, Savannah Paris, Jamise. Parks, Jasmine Page, Jordan Osagai, Victoria Naimbane, Willie Nelson, Maya McElroy, Tierra Murphy, Brandon Scott, Coriana Scott, Javaria Sims, Caleb White, Nicole Whitfield Thomas, Desmond Walker, Randy Wiggum, Jatarius Weems, Taryn Wofford, Nia Wright, Joshua Gibson, Brandon Kirk, 
Waki Lawson, Nathaniel Lowe, Glennis Ruzizo, Kamora Reynolds, Jalen Oliver, Lazarus Hamilton, Joshua Edmond, Makai Keith, Destiny Tucker, Arion Thompson, Rhonda Lee Thompson, Rhonda Lee Thomas, Jordan Taylor, Jamari Taylor, Akiri Hardy, Alicia Young, Jovian Ryan, Diaviana Cosby, Kamari Creighton, Chastity Lorquette, Hassani I. Jarrett, Amaya Chasan Weekly. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good morning, everyone. Before I begin, I want to thank the parents, the guardians, and especially Mr. Harvey and the administration. Let's give it up for them, please. Oh, I'm shaking up here. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Without you guys, none of this would be possible. My name is Relda Vickers, and I am a soon-to-be MLK alumni. We are finally here. We have actually survived 12 plus years of school. In these 12 plus years, we have been trained for the hard-working all-nighters, the constant communication with higher authority, the early morning shenanigans, the jailbird lunch, and more. <laughs> <laughs> but we survived the biggest obstacle of all, staying motivated and sane enough to complete a full senior year of COVID. <laughs> Last year in 11th grade, when COVID first hit, we expected and even welcomed a little two-week break, not knowing we would get that and more. This virtual learning school year has been rough but we as a class personally should be proud of each other and celebrate ourselves even if no one else does. If no one else tells you today, I am going to tell you and emphasize that I am proud of you guys. <laughs> to some, it may seem like an exaggeration that virtual school was close to unbearable, but I feel like most teachers, administrators, and students may differ. I want all of you sitting in a cap and gown to realize that due to us completing this milestone in COVID, that we are strong, we are able, we are capable of 
anything we put our mind, our heart, and time into. Many people will try to define success to you and for you. While some advice may be helpful and get you somewhere, make sure that advice is leading you to where you want to be. Moving forward, it is time for you to define your own success. Your road to success may not be college or trade school or anything traditional to society's yellow brick road. You have to make the plan that you know you can and will follow. As long as your road is productive, positive, stable, sustainable, and ultimately leads to a happy destination, then take it. Define your own success and follow your yellow brick road towards it. Now let's take the first step. <sighs> let's take the first step on that brick road by reaching for your tassel and define your success by turning your tassel <laughs> from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2021. You are now Martin Luther King alumni. Good morning. I normally end with the school motto, but today we're going to begin with it because I am intelligent. I am articulate. I am mature. I am knowledgeable. I am involved. I am nonviolent. I am goal oriented because I am king. As we bring this commencement to a close, how about one more applause for the graduating class of 2021? So graduates, as you know, we're here to celebrate you. But as you know even better, your academic success is not just a product of your individual effort. Rather, it is a result of a collective commitment of many people some of whom are here today. Let's take an opportunity to celebrate those who supported our dreams. <clears throat> Class of 2021, you're stepping into a world like none other. And I invite you to think about your next steps and how you will maximize them in the midst of a pandemic and a social justice movement. Always remember, speak your truth model integrity, value integrity in others, because character matters. Jim Collins, author of the bestseller of Good to Great, said that good is the enemy of great. That said, once upon a time, business as usual was often good enough. That's not the case anymore. In fact, where you're going, Good is not enough. You have to be great. You are engaging in what might be, not what is. You must immerse yourselves in the immediate future five to 10 years from today. You see, the future doesn't just happen. It's planned. One of the ways that you must embrace the future is through technology but do not become dependent on it. In the next 10 years, technologies that we know today will be obsolete, and new technologies will be advancing so exponentially that we will find new ways of doing other things. So, the message I relate to you today is clear. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. With new technologies, challenging times, and a changing society. Every day, everywhere. You will need different skills to be 
the driving change and not be driven by it. Because as lions, we like driving and not being the passenger. So class of 2021, I love you. It has been the honor of my life to serve you. And I wish you Godspeed. Be well.